And the main reason is to get a new Pokemon game coming out uh, towards the end of the week. And tomorrow is going to be the start of a new schedule uh, for the channel. So I kind of wanted to get one more day in before we start doing a lot of other things. Now we're working our way over to Expedition 8. Um, we are currently on the boss of that and it is actually really, really difficult to defeat. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get it done today, but we're going to try our best. So bear with me on that one. We also need to, uh, yeah, we're working on Hushed Highlands. That's what we're at right now. Still at 55. I'm gonna have to start looking at switching up my team comp because right now it's just not gonna work. Okay, so let's see what I can do with this Oddish. I got an Oddish today, and it's not a good one either, so. See what we can pull off here with Oddish. 3%, 12%, and 12%. Okay, not what I wanted to see. And nothing's gonna level up here either. Oddish is really useless. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know what to do with this Oddish. That's like the only thing I'll get out of it. That's a bonus. Like, it's not even a Pokemon I would like to keep. It's just such a low level, too. So I don't need it. Gonna be an interesting day, because we're working on something that I did a lot of work on yesterday. So we're gonna have to do what we can for now. But this is going to be the last day I stream Pokemon Quest for quite some time again. Um, we'll be taking a couple of weeks off. I'll be basically doing um, my daily logins. So next time when we come back, we're going to be able to spam level with a bunch of Pokemon. And hopefully we get some interesting ones for my daily logins as well. But back to Hush Islands we go. Alright, so start off with the barrier. And let's do what we can do. Start off with the Daz. And the Ice. And there we go. So that's first wave, well not the first wave, but the first set of Pokemon completed. That didn't really work out. That didn't really work out either. We're going to have to go in with something hammery, and that is a Dazzling Gleam. Alright, so uh, Alakazam's actually taking a bit too much damage here. Way too much damage, actually. Um, let's go ahead and Dazzle and Gleam this. It's too close of a range for a Psycho Cut. There we go. Alright, so that's the first wave of Pokemon completed. We're at full health except for Alakazam. Let's go ahead and run away for a bit here. Not a great one, though, because sadly... Got an issue with Flareon being in the front. I just want to make sure we get some easy kills off here. There we go. I kind of don't feel the need to use Fire Blast or Flamethrower right here, so let's just go ahead and bury her. So now everybody's back at full health except for Flareon. Let's just keep running away because we got two neat arenas to face off against and they're really not easy to kill. Alright, not what we need because we got a barrier here. I need to dazzle and gleam in order to get these. Damn it, are you serious? You're already defeated, man. <sighs> Ice Skull Crash is just so useless. Dazzle and gleam is just so needed, though, right now. Flareon coming in with the Fire Blast. 
Get these knocks. Protect Flareon, my bro. We need the knocks. Are you serious? Flareon's already done. Didn't get one hit off right away. The issue is that the, the debuff on the defense, so Clayce is actually taking some huge L's here and it's not good. There we go. Alright, so there's the kill. <clears throat> Keep running away. Flareon, what, no, seriously, what are you doing? What are you doing? Flareon, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm, I'm really... Oh my gosh. Cloyster's my tank. Well, okay, my game's struggling. Cloyster's my tank and it's so freaking f far away. Alright, here we go. Because we gotta get a barrier off. Start off with the Dazzling Gleam. Why is the one Pokemon I need the one that's running away? If you could freeze, that'd be great. Nope, you're dead. Run away. What's interesting is I can get closer to get Icicle Crash off on these two, which is kind of super effective. He just won't because it's not cool. Close combat right now is actually working. This close combat is really working right now. Ah, uh, barrier. I like how you didn't run away, but okay. Why didn't you lead the Nidal Queen into it? Confusing, but okay. You're about to take too, too much damage here. Please run. Interesting, you ran that way. Alright, so Alakazam's coming up. We need the barrier. Go. Give me some knockbacks. Wow. You took a huge L there. You see, you get the cast off, but you don't get the move down. Like, it makes no sense. Oh, I was out of the range on that. That's a little bit dumb to see. Alright, Dazzling Gleam needs to come in clutch here. The freeze would be lit. Yep, we got one. Get a number, double freeze. Okay, because I need to... I need to clutch. I need, an, I need another freeze. Nope, this is bad. So we did get a freeze on Nidoqueen, Queen, but didn't last long enough. <sighs> uh, this is bad because I don't have barrier. One more run. Yes. And then... Use this. Come in clutch with that, please. Icicle crash isn't gonna work. Now run. Flareon, you're the one Pokemon I need to run away. Can you please get this up? No, run! Dazzling Gleam, bro. That's it. That's all I need you to do. So hard. This is my best attempt I've had, too. You need to stop running through that corridor. It's actually going to kill you. Did Flareon... I, that's what I need to see. Did Flareon get the buff? Nope. You're, ooh, lucky.
Run away. Um, I, my Pokemon are dead. Okay. You're almost dead too. I did. I think I got a froze off on uh, the boy. I think I got a freeze off on Nato King. Why aren't you moving? No, I, I asked you to move. That early bird special right there. <laughs> You're dead. I already know that. Can you get that off? I tried. Oh, we actually got one down. We actually got Nidoqueen Queen down. This is this is crazy. Um, I'm not gonna bury her. I gotta run. Cause Nidoking, King, that's the only move I have to worry about really. So if uh, Cloyster can stall and survive, this is gonna be interesting. Run. I want. I'm gonna go clutch mode and ice cold crash and run. Tried to get an ice cold crash off. But it, nope. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Keep my other Pokemon far away so I can get a barrier off on them. Um, get hit it up with a Fire Blast. Go with a Psycho Cut. We just defeated this. Oh my gosh. We just completed Expedition 8 Voice. Nidoking, King, Nidoking Queen completed. Oh, you don't even know. Look at these three. And I was talking about replacing them. Please level up. Ah, oh, you guys deserved it too. 446 Mighty Stone. Oh, I'm so stoked. You guys don't even know. I knew this was going to be great. Yay! We get a cool... Oh, yes. Get him. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so, so happy. Ah, Look at that. Completion. Expedition 8. Now we got like a no chance on the next ones. <laughs> I believe that gives us a lot more... Um, Oh no, it gives us what? A stay strong stone. Click that. See what that is. <clears throat> Yesterday we got a battery. Ooh, expedition bonus is gonna be helpful too. Based off of this, we gotta see. Okay, 446, that's a definite plus, so we got a 358. That we'll be removing. Uh, Flareon will be able to get that. And that 358 is going to replace a 333. We also got this. Uh, okay, so we have that already. And that that's going to be key for that. So the effect duration. And the, No, that's not what I want. I, I want that on Fire Blast because it stays. I'll take the attack width on that. Check out Coyster. See what the moves were again. Ice Co Crash. Oh no, you got Barrier. So, Effect Duration. If I didn't do that, that's a little quick swap. That could be helpful. Oh, so it negates. It's a negation. Okay, so cool. That's actually good. Double sharing. Uh, that's good. And then Alakazam. So that was the last slot that I needed for my moves. So that should be helpful. Number of move repetitions. That's helped out so much. You guys don't even know. The wait time is super long now. But the repetitions on the move is just... It's been perfect. <clears throat> What's funny is one of the best... Um, one of the best is weight less stone. And I'm not even using it. Scatter shot, I'm not a fan of. Alright, so at 95.06, almost at the 10k mark. And we're gonna get an expedition bonus going. Oh, look at that. 13,500. Wow, that is a thousand over what we just went in. 15k holy crap the boss on that one what's the boss on this one 16 oof those are some oofers what is my cooking at two more expeditions all right cool should get a decent gem from this next one i wish i got it on that last one but it's all good
Alrighty, everybody. Expeditions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 M's in my bank account. No, I'm joking. Expeditions 1 through 8 have all been completed. We're now moving on to Expedition 9, Night Light Nook. Bonus type of Psychic. So Alakazam should be coming in clutch in this one. Um, we do got that bonus type. So right now we're at 9,506, but plus the bonus type, we're over 10k. Moving on to this one at 8,600. So let's go ahead and give this an opportunity and a chance to see how far we can go. Because if you do look at the end, it does start hitting up at 15,400, which is way out of my team score. But uh, we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Let's get into it. Alright, so it's been a while since I've been able to do this, but allow my team to play this on auto um, to see. It, it, it gives me an opportunity to see some of the uh, strats that I can't think of, even though the, the PC really doesn't come up with strats, but you never know. I get to see some odd things happen and occur when I'm actually not involved in it. So I don't get how Psychic is powerful here right now. We're facing off against a lot of Rock-type Pokemon. My Flareon's taking some huge L's here. Oh, we did get the Freeze off, so this this guy's done. Icicle Crash can come in clutch, and that definitely helped me a lot when it was with the Nidoking King and Nidoqueen Queen in Expedition 8. Yeah, we're facing off against a lot of Ground and Rock-types. So how is uh, Alakazam going to clutch me out here? I'd like to know. I really would. Okay, there's a Haunter. I mean, I can definitely see this coming in. Okay, yeah, this is... I mean, we're facing off against Ghost Type, so I can see Alakazam doing some bits here. But Ghost Type is reversal on that as well because Alakazam Psychic. Ooh, we got one of those again. That's perfect. Yeah, we got this one easy. Perfect. That's cool. I'm assuming Gengar might be the, the end boss for Expedition 9. That would be actually really awesome to see. Let's see what this legendary gem is all about. Ooh, 253, that is so bad. Just to give it a quick look. The only one that would even come close would be Flareon, and I don't think Flareon can use it. Nope. That sucks. Alright, Expedition 9, level 2. Still got that bonus type, um, but we're j getting a little bit closer to my current level. So, let's see how we can do in this one. With the previous boss being a Haunter, I'm assuming this is going to be a difficult expedition to complete. First boss being a Haunter, actually. This looks like a... Ooh... I wonder if there's steel types in this one. Yep, there's steel types. <laughs> Somehow, Gen 1 Pokemon Quest, there's fairy and steel types. Again, this is Gen 1 we're supposed to be dealing with here. Not Gen 18,000. Like, seriously, there's Voltorb's electric and steel. Look at that. <clears throat> Nasty damage. Finish it off before it does things. Nope. Ooh! Had to come in clutch on that one. There's Haunters again. Haunters are really cool Pokemon. I'd rather Haunter than a Gengar, but I mean, of course, Gengar's lit. Damn, this Alakazam is... Oof. He's just, he's just the oof, oof Kazam now. Oh, here we go. Right-ons and right-horns. 
This is not good. I don't see how Psychic comes as a bonus here. <clears throat> Dazzling Gleam doesn't hurt, though. I like how my fire type is doing a lot to these guys. Well, you're going to be dying in a minute. Ooh! Get the burn off, and you've actually done your job, Flareon. Flareon's surviving against a rock type right now. This is interesting. Wow, Flareon, man. You've probably done most of this damage so far. Sane and melee range on Rhydon's clutch. No, Flareon, I wanted you to live, but sadly you couldn't. Alakazam, you couldn't do that two seconds earlier, bro. Look at all the cooking regions we get from this now. All those decorations are coming in as well, which is great. 303, don't think that's good. Alright, so we got cooking done. I want to probably recycle this. I'm most likely going to recycle this. I don't think it's... Yeah, it's not good enough yet. Interesting. So no, I'm on Expedition 9. I do know the level is low, but still. Should have been higher than that, I thought. Let's see what we get. It's, um, I've been waiting for something actually good to come out of cooking, and I haven't seen one in a very long time. I actually haven't used anything out of cooking in a very long time. But let's go see what we get. Mulligan, good, XL. Alright. Licky tongue again. Not good. Can't. There's no use, no matter what the level of it is, unless it's level 70. Yeah, there's no use for that. Is that Iron Tail? That's actually not the end of the world, though. But you're not a, a great attacking Pokemon. You're okay. Gonna use him to train. It's only level 46, anyways. Let's see. I think it will level up Flareon. Flareon would level up. Cloyster won't. Alakazam would as well. Alakazam I need. Alakazam's been coming in clutch like super. Go ahead and get your level up, my boy. Especially because you've got the, the type bonus right now. Trying to get another gem slot on him. That would be really good. Um, I think that's it right now. Let's get back. Oh, wait, no. We gotta set up my cooking. There we go. I was like, what am I forgetting right now? I've always wanted to know. Can I do this yet? No. I'm trying to save all of those. Like, could I just simply clutch this out into a full rainbow? Oh, it uses 10 of each. That sucks. So I would need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be 15 times 5. So it would be 30, 60, 75. Wow. I have a lot to go. Keeping it simple. That should be an easy one. Yep, 3. I can get that one completed today. Expedition 9 level 3 again moving on up in the ranks, but this is pretty much what my team is at so After this one we start seeing a huge boost from 9500 to 11,600 So after this it's gonna start getting a little bit too complicated But I believe keeping it on auto my team should still be good enough to complete this What are those? Oh no, why seals? I have a Flareon on my team. Why do you have seals over here as my enemies? You're showing your back to the enemy seal, Flareon. What are you doing? 
Alakazam gave you both an, an opportunity to get the final blow, and he's like, nah, you guys are dumb. Yeah, this is not good, but facing off against Water-type Pokemon, I got a Cloyster and a Flareon. One that doesn't deal damage, and is weak, and the other one that just doesn't deal damage, because it's Water. Here we go, That this is this is better. But my Alakazam is kind of struggling here. So this is where psychic type abilities would come in play. Sadly, we only have Psycho Cut, so we have to be at a specific range to even use it. So simply, we just get Dazzling Gleam, which is so pretty good against most of these Pokemon anyways. You guys gotta finish that, thank you. Alright, boss, what do we got? Oh, I thought so. This is not good. Can you please hook it up with a barrier, fam? Please hook us up with the barrier. Thank you. Did he just come in clutch with a, a, a starting off the fight psycho cut that actually one-shotted one of those? I think he did. But he's he's really... He's, he's struggling right now with Dazzling Gleam, I'll tell you that much. Kill that. Okay, so I'm going to get through this, but the issue is... My Pokemon aren't doing anything. Oh, when your Cloyster does not want a barrier. My, 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 my Cloyster, man, he's struggling. What's going on with Alec? Oh, Alakazam's dead. Okay, at least you- uh, thank you, Flareon, for getting rid of this seal. Oh, hopefully you do. You're not going to, are you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, turn off auto, let's do this. There you Someone's gotta play this correctly. I mean, I knew I had no... I mean, I knew I was going to be able to complete this. It's just... I actually don't want you to go in. <laughs> that was a glitched out ability right there from Alex Zam. That's funny. Level up, please, Flarion. No. 416. That's, that's looking better. Let's see what we get from that. I believe that would go to Flareon, but I'm not 100% sure. That, oh, that's actually really high. Okay, um, Cloyster's actually getting that. Interesting. 416, so we got a 338 that we're going to remove. Alex Zam, you're next. That 338 is now going to replace a 335. And then Flareon is going to get that 335 to replace a 316. Recycle the 316. More cooking regents, and we move forward. Nope, wrong button. I meant to click quest. You never know what you get from these things. I'm assuming it's water type. Nope, tenacious defense. Oh my gosh, PM tickets. Lit! That's your boy Cloyster over there. Alrighty, everybody. Expedition 9, level 4. So, this is slightly below Expedition 8's boss. Barely. So this is difficult, but I have completed it, so I don't remember what this was. We'll figure it out. I cannot play this on auto anymore. Because my Pokemon barely...
killed the freaking Dugan. Wait, what the hell was that? What was that? That was such a fail psycho cut, Alec is in. I'm not gonna lie. The ground types are just giving you L's, aren't they? Like, why don't you guys just leave the boomerang alone? Like, just stop following it. <laughs> My Florian's almost dead. Oh no. I think this is Machoke. Fuck. Or Machamp. I think it's Machamp. I'm scared. Your boy's legit scared right now. Not gonna lie. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is Machamp. I remember facing off against Machamp before. And I think this is his level. One of the top three Pokemon in this game. Alexan, just attack, my boy. Thank you. Hmm. Trying to see if I'm in range for a nice psycho cut. It's not looking like it right now. Wow, this is, we're going far distances right now. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> These Magnemites are not having a good day. Oh, you're done. Look at the clutching. Alright, so, oh, oh, Magneton, oh no, this is when I needed Flareon, this is, nope, run away please, now I remember this fight now, this is bad, This is really bad. No, this is not an easy level. This mag this freaking magneton does damage. If I can get a stun off. It fucking helps it. the worst. You don't even know. I need a barrier. I need a barrier and I need a fire blast. I don't care where it goes, it's gonna land and it's gonna start hitting these guys. Um Finish that one off for me, Flareon, please. Just get that off. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna come in clutch right here. Look at this clutch. Clutch cloister. Call it the clutch cloister, boys. That was actually a lot easier than it was before. That was not easy before. Thank you for leveling up, Flareon. Um, none of you are close to getting another gem, which is bad. Oh my gosh. Quest completed. Interesting. Electric type. I like. So we got some gems on gems on gems, boys. Are we going to hit the 10k mark? What's up, Dust? Are we going to hit that 10k mark? Let's see. We're going to start off with Koyster. We're getting gems that Koyster is even able to use now. This is interesting. All the plays. Alright, the 339. Yep. 339 is getting replaced there. See what Alakazam's got. Alakazam able to replace the 372. And the rest is going into Flareon, I believe. Interesting. Flareon's gonna get a lot of upgrades here. Alright, that 372 replaces the 337. The 356 replaces the 317. The 339 replaces the 327. The 337 replaces nothing. Alright. Recycle. Alright, let's see what our new team total is. 
Oh, we're so close to the 10k mark. I wonder what that achievement's gonna get me. Um, let's see. What am I looking at? Um, I was gonna do something, but I forgot what it was. Oh, well. Let's get back in. Alright, Expedition 9, level 5. So the issue with this is, it is supposedly more difficult than Expedition 8's boss. This one requires a team total of 13,500. I'm only at 9,800. Now whether this is completable or not, who knows, because I don't even know what the last boss is. So let's get into this and uh, scratch my head, because even though I have Expedition bonus because of a Psychic type, so far, Psychic really hasn't been clutch. This is going to be super scary, and this is going to be, uh... I don't know, I, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I've completed Expedition 7 and 8, though, so I'm positive about that. Ooh. Oh, the lag is real. The lag is real with this one. Why two cloisters, though? I've got one cloister. We don't need two more. Oh, no. The wrong person. You froze the wrong person. Why can't my abilities freeze? Cool. Alright, run away because we're almost dead for some reason. Keep running. I hope they're easier than what we just faced off against. The Rhyhorns. No, no, the Rhydons, but still. They weren't easy, but they were. Oh, what? Amasar. Interesting. It doesn't, it doesn't look correct. It looks a bit weird. Gotta get the knockbacks in, please. I'm trying to separate them away from my uh, Flareon, but it's just not working. I'm gonna have to use it. This is not even a boss. Oh my gosh. The double freeze. Look at this guy coming in. <laughs> he just double froze my team, and now my Alakazam's gonna die. Oh, you missed twice. Alright, we gotta run away. This might be the boss, but uh, we still gotta run. We need Flareon up for at least a little bit to see what this is. Jinx. Oh, piss off. Is Jinx weak against fairy type? Oh, we know. Bringing in the cloisters. That's not what we want. Oh, no wonder why this level's hard. Because my... My Flareon doesn't focus on the, uh, the Jinx. Oh, my Flareon's gonna die. This sucks. Oh, it's frozen. Yeah, this is bad. And there's a Dugon now out there. Oh, this sucks. See if you can get a freeze off while you're here. You're gonna run into the corner, which is not good. You're about to get frozen. <laughs> I I think this level is doable though. Like hit something. Wait, why are you already dead? Can you guys get rid of that? No? Alright. 
You ran into the jinx. Like, that's where you don't want to go, bro. Did you know? Oh, you're frozen. Great. Can't bury her when he comes up. We're going for some king knockbacks, though. Clean knockbacks. Can we finish this stupid thingy off? Fuck, you got one shot. Oh, man. You love the corner, don't you? You can't even get a freeze off because you can't aim a corner hugger. Alright, if Alakazam can come up and get some knockbacks for me and become clutch. Ow. Ow. Like, why? Alright, well, I have to wait for them to try to come up again. I need to get you far away from them. Place it, run to the opposite side of this map, please. No, you're going back. I don't think you understand, Cloyster. You're running back to where you don't need to go. Get the freeze off. Oh, there's no such thing as a freeze with you, is there? Like, you're not using the move that I want you to use. Alakazam, I'm trying to come in clutch with a psycho cut, and it's just... Your aim is not true today. Oh, we're in a core. We're in a corridor now, boys. This is not good. Oh, he got it off. Guys and green, let's go. Let's go. One more. Let's go. Alright, you didn't get it off. Keep running away. Ooh! No! Why are you going back? Why are you running away from ya? You shouldn't be. Oh no. Why are you sleeping? Oh no, we can't bury her. Oh, this is where he takes damage. Get a dazzling gleam off, I don't care. Just get away from the boy. Can you come in clutch with a psycho cut? Stay there, stay there, stay there. You're in perfect range of this psycho cut right now. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Clutch moves, clutch moves, clutch moves. Run away. That was clutch too. If you can run away and not get slept or whatever this shit is, and just keep it. We actually got this. Oh, the, the, the line of sight is true. We did it. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're completing things today, boys. <laughs> oh, these fights are unreal. Oh, these fights are unreal. Alakazam, you're so close to leveling up. What's going on? Oh, look at these gems, too. Like, I'm not crying, but I'm, I'm pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. This is nuts. This is absolute nuts. Alakazam, you're getting more boost, boy. Alright, uh, 388, 384 done, 388 done, that Tina get a Flareon, oh my gosh, Alakazam, you are on point. The 357 and the 358, they're both gone. This is working, boys, this is, I don't know what's going on, but it's working. Oh, there it is, 10,030. We definitely got a quest completed for that. That's a 10k mark we just hit. No? That sucks. I thought I did some special stuff. Alright, we got some cooking done. Hot pot a la cube. Hot the pot. Exercise. Growlithe. That's actually pretty good. Sadly, it replaces a Pokemon I don't want to switch. 
Oh, fuck yes. Flame charge. Oh my gosh. There's, there's questions with this one now. There's questions with this one. So, your boy is now going to Google something. I gotta find out his best move set. Arcanine, that is, not Growlithe. At level 36, it evolves. So it evolves right away, for me. Um. So the moves that it will learn. There's Flamethrower. Flame Charge. Okay, Flare Blitz is actually probably the best. Um, Crunch is actually really good too. That's interesting. Fire Blast is probably best. So I'm going to bypass on this for now. I'm going to use this Growlithe. I'll give it some more thinking outside, but... This is a really good Growlithe, but I'm going to go ahead and um, bypass on it really quick. Look at that. Okay, two levels. That's decent enough. Can I get a gem, please? Nope. Ooh, almost three levels. Okay, cool. We got three levels from that. That was worth. Okay, so we got one more expedition to do. We're going to give it an attempt. It is something that we most likely won't be able to complete. But this is new for me because I have yet to get to this level. So hopefully we get to see what it is. If that thing was $19.99 instead of $29.99, I'd get it. Because it'd be free. I'm surprised we didn't get a 10k quest. Oh well. Nothing I can do about that. I think I didn't put the, the rapid ash out yet. Yeah, I didn't put that out. That sucks. That's much better looking. Looks a little bit weird though, to be honest with you. So we've hit the 10k mark. We've completed a lot these last three days. I'm happy about that. We will be back again playing more Pokemon Quest. Just wait um, a couple more weeks. Actually, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'd say weeks because Pokemon Let's Go is coming out. So probably going to make it even longer than it should be. But we will collect 20 total Pokemon to go ahead and use the power up and power level. This is not looking easy, but we're going to give this an opportunity. Let's go ahead and get our cooking done first, though. Forgot about that. Okay, cooking. I want to see something really quick. So, rainbow matter. Give me a second here, guys. I'm checking something out on this rainbow matter. Because I'm trying to see if it's what it does if I do get 75 of these. Um, let's see.
Each slot requires 10 of the ingredients. Okay, default cooking pot. Each slot requires 3 of the ingredients used. Grunge cooking pot. Each slot requires 10 of each ingredients used. Level 20 and up. Silver. Each slot requires 15. Level 40 and up. Gold pot. Which I don't have yet. Level 70 and up. So can I get lucky? I'm going to try something out here and probably get lucky with it. But we're going to go for it. Hold up. Alrighty, so cooking. I've always wondered what this does. I really don't want to farm 75 rainbow matter to use the silver cooking pot. And I do know there's a gold one above that. I'm just gonna use the regular one. And we'll see what we get by spamming all of these rainbow matters in. Because the reason why is it, it has an opportunity and it usually is a low level Pokemon, but it can be a high level Pokemon if you're super extremely lucky. So it's a 6 out of 6 rainbow matter. So we won't be able to see what it is until next episode. But hey, we'll figure it out. Alright, Expedition 9 boss. 15,400. I'm just going to click it because I really don't think I'm going to be able to complete this. This is way out of my league, boys. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Let's see what this is all about. Hmm, we're traveling pretty far and wide right now. Okay, so... I've already killed one. Finish that off for me, Alakazam. Thank you. Let's go. Okay, so what is this? A ghastly? Alright. I tried to get you to run, you just didn't want to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Freaking Alakazam, what are you doing, bro? Alright, here we go. Clutch mode time. We got Haunter, so we have to dazzle and glean. Alright, should be able to finish those two. Nice. Not bad, but I mean... Alakazam's taking too much damage, and he's what I need for the final boss. Let's run away a little bit. Try to get some off heals, out of combat heals. Should have thought of this earlier, but again, I'm just coming into this one just to see what we can... What we have to fight. Freeze? No, okay. I had to get that off. Oh, damn, I should have waited. I should have waited. No, Flareon, you don't want to be in there. Didn't get a freeze off. We gotta come in Dazzling Gleam and we gotta come in hot. Just stay there. Just stay there. It's your perfect range. You don't need to move anymore. What? No. Flareon. Alright, you've separated yourself from it. Electabuzz. Why? What is the boss? Oh, no. This is... Actually, this is good. This is good. But why are you going after him? That's what I love about Fire Blast. Separation between you and uh, the opponent is key. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Interesting. I think you're paralyzed. <laughs> Guess... Yeah, you're paralyzed, so you did get your attack off just in time. Oh, uh, nope, this is bad. Okay, so we are struggling here. I need to get these dots to wear off, and I need to try to heal as much as possible out of combat. And I need Cloyster to be the first one to get into the combat. Okay, so we got a rebarrier. Nah, oh, fuck. Flareon, you just got... You killed it. Ah, oh, Flareon, I don't know what you're doing, but... Gengar, oh no. Are you jokes? Are you jokes? This is jokes. Separation, you know what's up. Ah, oh, you're already dead. Well, that's one. I need the barrier. You don't even know. Can you get it off? Oh, he's dead. This is jokes. The freeze would have been lit. <laughs> he can't even move. The over the tops. Oh, he's just getting pounded so hard, you don't even know. That's not where you want it, is it? It's doable, not gonna lie. This is doable. Getting clutch with Alakazam, this is doable. I like this. I like how I'm able to... To know I'm going to be able to do this. I, I believe I'm going to be able to complete this expedition. Even though it's so far ahead of me. I'll be able to do it with the team that I currently got. Especially next time when I will be taking a break from this. And we will be stacking up on a ton of Pokemon. So catch you guys then. Again Expedition 9 will be completed next time around. I, I hope. And uh, moving on to Expedition 10.